Hey there, this is Mike Johnston, and today I'm trying a little different format. I want to start doing some uh, product reviews as well as uh, my outdoor commentary videos. And um, this is isn't a product review, but it's a uh, it's a website review that I got the idea for this video today because we decided that we wanted to have hoagies, which depending on where you live is could be referred to as hoagies, subs, possibly grinders. Um, but anyway, in the area where we are, which is central Pennsylvania, most people say either hoagies or subs. So um, we did a search and I kind of had in mind a few places in the area that I, I knew made pretty good hoagies. And um, since our little girl decided she wanted a hamburger hoagie, which is, you know, like a hamburger sliced in half on a hoagie bun, there not everybody makes those. So there's only a few that made those. Um, but anyway, just, just part of the point today is just showing you how careful you have to be with your listings and what you say in your listings. And essentially, you have to do search engine optimization on your website meta tags, description, title, and on your social networks and on your business directory listings so that you show up for everything that you might want to show up for. Um, so anyway, we did some searches. I, I knew pizza places that made decent hoagies, so ser first we searched for pizza. So, in our in our city, so first these three come up. Okay, that's down on Main Street. This one is out on Route 522, and of course Domino's, which is the only national chain. That's kind of interesting because we do have a Pizza Hut too, but they're a little further up Route 15. <coughs> um, and you see, Bella's is number one, and they have eight reviews for an average of four stars. Amato's only has five reviews, but they're slightly better at 4.2. Domino's, five reviews, but they're only at 3.7. And it seems to be actually really ranking these by the reviews they have, number and, and, and the overall score. So, I mean, I can't really tell you any more about how important this is how important it is to have good reviews than just to show you that. Um, so you see the search we did. Pizza and Sounds Grove. All results. Here we see a map. Here's those results. Now we come down here. Bella's again. Bella's. Bella's menu. Rocco's, which I think they have the best pizza in town, but unfortunately they don't show up in the, in the three pack up top. Amato's, Rocco's, Pizza Rules, I have no idea where that is. Oh, it's out in Kramer, a whole different town. And Marzoni's, which is a franchise outfit, but they're new, so they aren't in the three-pack. And uh, But they are on the first page here, and Papa John's also is not showing up that well here. But anyway, however, the none of the places that I knew that made hoagies, Amato's makes good hoagies, but they're on, like, homemade bread, homemade pizza, and it's kind of, you either like it or you don't, you know, I think it's pretty good, I like it on steak hoagies, but I don't really like it that much on cold hoagies, that's just me, so anyway, so, and, and the place we eventually ordered from is <coughs> Dynamic Wings and Subs, or Dynamic Wings Express, they changed their name, they used to be Dynamic Wings and Subs, and, and that's probably been an important for them, but I want to focus on them in a little bit. So anyway, a search for pizza turns up those three places. Search for hoagies in Sealands Grove. Now we're getting either further out. EW's hoagies, they're way out in a different area. DW's deli and hoagies, they're in a whole different town. And another DW's deli and hoagies, they're in a whole other town. We are uh, like right in this area. And these hoagie places are far away from us. But now if you come down to here, Taste of Philly, that is right in Seals Grove. Unfortunately, they're apparently not <coughs> in the three-pack, and they should be because they match the location search because this is a location-specific search. However, they don't have apparently much of a website or a Google Plus page that they uh, list their products. You see 
they had say taste of Philly that says nothing about their products. So if I search for hoagies, they're not going to come up. If they would have said taste of Philly cheesesteak, they might have come up because I think the search algorithm is smart enough to realize that a cheesesteak is a hoagie or a sub. <coughs> but they list themselves as a sandwich shop, which is fine. But people are probably not going to look for sandwich shop that much. They're going to look for hoagies or subs. So somewhere they should have put hoagies or subs ideally into their description if it isn't part of their business name. So uh, Amato's, they made it up here because their business name is Amato's Pizza and Hoagies. Okay. Uh, and sometimes they just abbreviate it to Amato's Pizza. Jimbo's Hot Dogs and Hoagie Hut. I'm not sure where that is and I live here. Uh, Newton PA, no idea. Aston PA, no. Amato's Pizza and Hoagies. So really, if you sell hoagies, wow, it would be great to be there. Now, Dynamic Wings, for example, let's go back to their menu. I have their menu open just to see everything that they actually have, which they unfortunately don't communicate anywhere. They have ice cream. They have jumbo wings. They have their own wing sauces, their own branded wing sauces. And I, I don't think that URL, I'm not sure that URL works anymore or not because they, well, let's see. Dynamic wings and subs. No, it doesn't. No, they, unfortunately, that's their old website and they no longer have it pointing to their new website. They started out having one location at a, a sort of a mini mall up the road and then they decided they were getting so busy there that they needed to kind of change their setup so instead of having one location they now have three within all within a, about 20 miles of each other one is across the river in Sunbury PA they have one downtown in Seals Grove PA and they have one out further in Middleburg PA <clears throat> and and that's important because now what they did was they took the uh, the URL that people apparently always used and they made it into a park domain created a new domain that is not connected so they lost all their backlinks to their old domain they lost all the familiarity that people had with their old domain and that was that was a, a senseless thing to do um but anyway you can see they have fresh local delivery free wings but they have sandwiches of various sorts they have wraps they have burgers they have cold subs salads and soup they have a kids menu they carry millsworth chips which is chips that are made in Middlesburg, Middleburg, PA, and, you know, if you live around here, you probably like them because they're good chips. Um, so anyway, they have a pretty wide sort of selection of different kinds of food other than just wings, you know, sandwiches, subs, pizza. I'm pretty sure, yes, there's pizza in here somewhere. Da, 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 da. I thought there was. Maybe there isn't. Okay, so they don't have pizza, but they have a lot of sandwiches. Okay, but... Um, anyway, however, we look up hoagies in Sales Grove, PA. Again, nothing. They're not there. We look up uh, pizza in Sales Grove, PA. Oh, we looked at that one. No, they're not there. We look up subs in Sales Grove, PA. No, two in Mifflinburg, a couple up here in Northumberland, past Northumberland, one in Sunbury. And Sunbury Sub Shop makes awesome subs. I must say that, but anyway, um, and again, they have 11 reviews and only a 4.0, whereas Marlins is a 4.2, but only seven reviews. So, and they're very close to each other on Main Street in Sunbury. So if you're going to look at what's ranking them, it's the number of reviews and the score, apparently together for the most part, because they both have sub or sub shop in the name. So sub that's taken care of. So, sandwich shops in Seals Grove. Now, Bella's Pizza, they made it here because in their business description, they mentioned subs. Not hoagies, just subs. But they made it. Taste of Philly made it because here they're listing cheesesteak, Philly cheesesteak. Okay. Dynamic Wings Express made it because they have subs. So, they did make it with their main website in Rocco's. Jersey Mike's in Lewisburg. That's new and that's also a franchise. 
Okay, so I did make it here in subs, but not in the three pack. These are all in another town across this, the river, and there are no listings which point to subs in Sealands Grove. So that's something to really keep in mind. You can totally screw yourself and miss out on the great opportunities of being in this three pack at the top of search results just by not treating your business listings correctly. And the same thing goes for Google small business list or Bing places for business. That's the Bing business listings. You should also be there and the same the same rules apply. Um, okay, so now let's look at their listing. We looked up wings in Sales Grove PA. Well, apparently wings is not really a, 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 a designation in Google Maps. You can't be a wing place. So, or else they didn't select it, but I'm, I'm pretty sure you can't be a wing place. Um, and there they do pretty well because they have wings in their title, wings in their URL, wings in their description. They are just kicking butt with wings. If anybody wants to find wings, they will do that. But now you see the big thing here. Once they get there, dynamic wings, knowledge graph slash Google My Business listing is right here. Well, then we look at this and we say, okay, yeah, we can see an outside view. They have a website. Okay, we can see when they're open, their address, their phone number, their website. Uh, but they've never see own this business. They've never claimed their listings. So they close down their main <coughs> business website, close down the main business, split off into these three satellites, started one new website for three satellites, and apparently never claimed their business listings, which must have just kind of happened organically. And they may not be accurate, but what is happening is bad reviews and and the um, dynamic wings people aren't even going to know unless they're on here actually looking let's look at all google reviews for dynamic wings express uh, i waited 40 minutes for an order of 10 chicken fingers and they only w had nine they didn't look fully cooked waste of time and money the girl usually answers the phone is rude and snippy however i was lucky enough not to have to deal with her today so it's Somebody who's apparently a repeat customer, and they they just have this uh, ongoing problem, which is not being addressed. Now, what should happen here? And if you've been following along in the Google Small Business Community, you will know that what should happen is the business owner should step up here and leave a reply, and they would have to, of course, claim their business profile and check their reviews, then sign into their business profile, leave a reply. You can't just eliminate bad reviews but you can show that you care and that you're still a business worth dealing with because hey bad things happen to good people but if you don't step up and show that you care it looks like you don't and you're going to lose web business because people rely on the web now somebody here gave a five-star review seven months ago well that was pretty good and I noticed the same thing is true. There is another listing for the Dynamic Wings Middleburg location. And at that location, there is also bad reviews. I think, you know, that's something that the owner here really has to step up and, and become aware of. And, you know, thank people when they leave good reviews and try to remediate the problem when people leave bad reviews. It makes a big difference. And another thing, which I just... I. Actually, well, like as I said, I'm familiar with these guys, and they do make good food, and we ended up ordering our hoagies from them today. But uh, <clears throat> another thing, because they've never claimed this, they never updated their photo. And if you click on the image, um, you see that it's an image of the business as it was several years ago. So it's the right building, but the wrong business. So if you are a potential customer and you found them on the web and you're thinking oh I want to see what this place looks like so I know it when you'll get there when I get there you'll look on here and potentially be like oh well that's not even the same business and then you'll look around since this is Google Street View and and you'll say well this business doesn't seem to be anywhere on this street oh well you know something's wrong here I'm not gonna bother so if we go back to this now I think I 
Yes, now there's more images because I updated this today. And I accidentally sent a piece of a photosphere, which is only a small piece of the photosphere. So it's, it's not right. However, this is the right one. I updated it. So now you can see the most recent image is Dynamic Wings Express. Same building as this one, but updated. This was September 2012. This one was today. So, and then coming back here, another thing Dynamic Wings could have done, oops, sorry, that's the wrong window, is, <coughs> and, and because they've, t I want, this is, they have a great logo, I think, that Super Chick in there, and they do list their three locations with contact information, but what they also do is embed a Google map for each location, Let's see, this one, and oh, in this location, there is actually no Google My Business listing to speak of because there's somehow three businesses listed at that address <coughs> so it doesn't come up for that and they have no reviews there and the so it doesn't even come up How, <laughs> but you know uh, it's hard to believe that somebody would be so eager to promote um, their Google My Business listings potentially when they have such bad reviews but this is a one page website that they have uh, essentially, um, there's also a coupon page and a sauces page where you could order some sauces if you wanted to, but it's not a, uh, it's, it's not an e-commerce site. So in other words, you sort of have to either call or email the store or potentially stop in and see if you could buy any of these sauces that interest you. Um, directly there there's no way to buy them online uh, so they have a great selection of, of sauces and uh, seems like a wasted opportunity not to be able to order them online but that's just my opinion so it's a very small website and there's no real text on here so none of this is is probably actually going to show up and I really doubt that anybody filled in the alt image tags on all these sauces so that if somebody is looking for some uh, uh, small batch hot sauces these will probably not show up and the phone number is not click to call um, none of them are so it's it's not really a mobile friendly site um, but you know you know it's a starter it's a starter site and it, they could do a lot better and they could do a lot better with their directories and see their new webs the new domain is dynamic wings and express they should have did a 301 redirect on their old domain to come to this domain and then you know that would have solved that problem of losing all of their their links and their build up traffic numbers and stuff from their old website uh, but you know it is what it is and they, they do have good food I like their food my wife loves their wings I like their hoagies so I'm not a big wing person so anyway that's uh, today's video and I hope you enjoyed it if you do feel free to comment below if you see the video on uh, the Google Small Business community feel free to comment there and I will also answer there and um, you know let's get some discussion going all right and uh, like my like my video channel like my YouTube channel too I'd appreciate it thanks bye